Let's say everybody, it's Vitaly here at Firestorm Records, and we are going to talk about NVIDIA GeoForce video cards. I, some of you may or may not know this, but I, most people don't. And that is that NVIDIA's consumer cards use this basically the same hardware and the same chips as their high-end commercial video cards. Uh, like, say for instance, the uh, NVIDIA 180 or the NVIDIA 180 Ti and the, the, the Quattro P4000, Quattro P6000. They use the same chips, same hardware. Uh, the, the main difference hardware-wise is memory. But they use the same same cores, the, the same chips. And what they've done is they've they've limited the lower end cards via the drivers and, and software. I mean, why give you the, the exact same performance as the P six thousand for a quarter of the price, right? Now this isn't anything new. Back back in the two thousands, a lot of gamers were. Uh, soft modifying the uh, their video cards and what they were doing is they was, they was taking the card and they were adding and removing uh, resistors and diodes in the right place to change the values to get that card to unlock that card well lo and behold uh, uh, there, there's actually an easier way to do it it just took took somebody with a real need to figure it out and we're going to get right into that and uh, this is going to be a hard video to make because I don't have anybody to help me work the switching and stuff. But we are going to try to do this to how to do it. First off, we're just going to come over here and you're going to type NVIDIA patch. And it's going to be the first one right here over on GitHub. And all we're going to do is a patch DLL file. Uh, and you can see this right here. This patch removes restrictions on maximum number of simultaneous and uh, NVENC video encoding sessions imposed by NVIDIA to consumer grade GPUs. Now, basically, what that means, and and this probably won't be useful to a lot of people, but if you're running like a media server or you're doing a lot of live streaming and bringing in multiple inputs and uh, multiple outputs, this is extremely extremely useful. Uh, that's that's how this patch actually came about these people were in russia and they were running plex server and they were trying to figure out how to get by with the video cards that they had and they got together and they they wrote a patch to unlock the video card and it, it's been checked out by a lot of people in, in the in the cyber community it's not it's not a virus uh it's it's not going to burn up your video card. It's not it's not going to tear up your computer. It's that's it, it does exactly what it, what they say it's going to do. And uh, you scroll down to here, and uh, uh, this was originally developed for for Linux, uh, Ubuntu Linux, but there is a Windows version. And what we're going to do is scroll down right here and just click the Win right here. And you're going to need a couple of files. You're going to have to first off figure out what, what your uh, Windows operating. Windows 7 to 10 and, and Server 2008 to, to Windows Server 2019 is what is supported. And I'm, I'm running Windows 10 and a lot of you probably are too. So we're going to come up here and we're going to download the Win337 apply patch. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Let me see if I can pull this up on the drivers. Let me show you. Let me show you something else. I'm doing. I'm getting ahead of myself. Come down here to your Windows 10 drivers, and you're going to figure out which driver it is that you're you, you're going to upgrade to. Uh, in my case, I'm doing the the 44141 on my laptop. Now, keep in mind, I've already done it on this desktop, and we have not done it on the laptop. Let me bring that laptop up where you can see it, and. The first thing you do is right here where it says the they have a 64-bit a, a and 34-bit but 
I'm going to go 64, and most of y'all probably will as well. You right click it, and you click save target as, you don't download it. And I've already got it saved, and I've created a folder called driver patch, and I'm just going to save it there. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and click the driver link. And you're going to save that. Let's go ahead and start that. The first thing we're going to do is, is install the updated driver. Which is why I've got a camera rigged up behind me to, to, to cast the screen. You just won't be able to see it as well. And we're going to click. Okay. And we're going to let that run for a second. What this patch does, like I said, is it, it unlocks all, uh, the cores in your in your, your video card. And I, and I may not be wording that right, but it's close enough. Uh, the, the factor default on a consumer video card uh, as far as running uh, encoders is two. Most time you're running one, but the maximum that you can run is two. Uh, after you do this patch, I seen a, a 1060 run 25 yesterday, no problem. And, and in most cases, this doesn't really have a, a useful application for, for most uh, consumers or gamers. But like I said, if you're doing live streaming and, and, and all that, it comes in really handy. And it's going to run through its system check here. And I may have grabbed the wrong driver, but we'll see. Uh, okay, it's come back up. And we do not want to install. We, we, we're going to do a clean install. We're getting rid of a bunch of stuff. And uh, all we want is the, the NVIDIA graphics driver. We're going to click agree and continue. We do not want the express. We, we want the custom. We're going to click next. We do not want the HD audio driver, and you could get rid of the SysX system software. But the main reason we're coming over is uh, to tick this little box to say perform a clean installation because you want a clean install. And then you click next. And right here is probably going to be about where we lose our screen. So I'm going to switch over to the camera I have set up. Okay, now we have to restart the system. The upstate is still going. Right this minute, all we're doing is installing the latest driver and doing a clean install and getting rid of a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Now, even if you don't do the, the patch uh, to unlock the cores, uh, you can benefit greatly by coming over and doing a clean custom install on, on your laptop or your desktop. And uh, when and when you do that clean install, choose the custom and, and do not install all the extra stuff that comes with it. Then your system will, will greatly appreciate it. Uh, I had run into the problem where the GeoForce experience was causing problems with in my doll. I would the the heads up display would come up and was was causing my interface for my doll to to act kind of funny and stuff. And I don't play a lot of video games so there was no reason for me to have that installed so I came back and I did that clean and install and fixed that problem my my computer said thank you uh, right now I'm on this desktop I'm running one two three four five six scenes and each scene has uh, well every, uh, five of the scenes have two to three uh, video inputs or sources and uh, uh, all this is offloaded onto my GPU, my, my graphics card now. And it's took a huge load off my processor. And then on top of that, I have did the, the patch and I've unlocked it to where I can run more than one uh, video encoder. More than two. So I, I am seeing a lot of difference on, on, on this side of the, you know, if all you're doing is video games and, and, and all you are is a gamer, you probably do not want to do this patch. I'm going to bring my video, my 
live switcher software back up and get this back online for just a minute so y'all can see this because before I do the patch I'm going to show you what I'm talking about we're going to run a batch file let's go ahead and minimize this let's go ahead and run the batch file I know that you're losing my audio because I'm not using a lab mic I apologize I should have done that sooner And this should just say two two cores. But currently we're running uh, 5.84 times the speed of live. Press enter. Yeah, see, we've, we've only got two cores running. Let me maximize that so we can see it. You can see it only encoded two videos. We'll go ahead and close that and I'll show you. The output. There's the test result. So it only put out two, as you can see. Go ahead and delete those. Now I've come to the farm part. Let's do the patch. Come back over here now and click open. We're going to extract all. And we're going to drag that to my driver patch folder. Let's open the folder and we're going to run the patch. We want to click this one. Now you have to come to your computer and come to the Windows. And this is kind of an oxymoron here. Just I want to clarify this. If you're doing the thirty, the sixty-four bit, you're gonna to have to come to Windows System thirty uh, or System. Let me let me do this. It's in the system 32. And it's only looking for one file, so that's the only file it's going to show you. It's going to be right down here at the bottom. And you're going to tell it that that's the deal. That's the file that you want to patch. And you're going to click open and click patch. And it's done. Now we may have to reboot this system. But let's go ahead and check right quick. On, the, on my desktop, I did have to reboot. Let's run a test and see what we get. Uh, it looks like the patch went through without rebooting. It's running at... Uh, 2.35 times the speed of live on five encoders and don't forget that I'm also got a video uh, switcher going and I'm uh, in already encoding and sending that screen over to this computer so uh, technically I'm running six and there you go it, it ran all five encoders no problem Let's go to this one. And there you go. It, it, it rendered out five videos. How cool is that? Anyway, if you can think of any other ways that this might be useful other than live streaming and, and video encoding, uh, uh, leave a uh, comment in the comment section below and uh share some examples of, of what you might be talking about and, and let's see if we can't do something with this and this is my tally here at red barn productions and y'all have a good day